Walk around any grocery store the last few years and you'll see the words plant-based everywhere. And plant-based on the surface is a good thing. We should be eating more fruits and vegetables and not so much processed food. But I would argue the word plant-based has been perverted into something that is incredibly processed and bad for us because yes, vegetables are good. But when you're turning plant-based items into hot dogs, hamburgers, ground meat, meatballs, there's actually no plants in them. And when you look at the ingredients, it's nothing but processed oils and fake ingredients. And those aren't plants, and those aren't good for you. And actually, those are bad for the environment, which is one of the main reasons people eat plant-based in the first place. So let's walk around the grocery store and show you why I think plant-based can be a very bad thing. Before we do, I do want you to check out thrivemarket.com using my promo link down below. Thrive Market has a lot of good plant-based stuff, but the reason why I love Thrive is yes, they're a seven-year supporter of my channel, but pretty much anything you can buy in any grocery store is on Thrive Market, but it's cheaper. When you use my link down below, you save 30% off your first order. You get a free gift and it's 30 days risk-free and your box comes straight to your door. I'll put a list of all my favorite Thrive Market items in the description box, so check it out. All right, less talking, more shopping. Let's walk around. Welcome to the meat alternative section of the frozen food department. In here is where plant-based can really go wrong in my opinion. So let's pick up something like this. Let's say you want meatballs, but you're plant-based. You're gonna look at classic Jack meatballs. So Jack meaning jackfruit, which is a good plant actually, but I can promise you it's not just jackfruit. Let's see here. So jackfruit's a first ingredient, but the binder is soy flour. The oil is coconut, but then it's canola oil. Then there's natural flavors. You oftentimes find soy in these kind of products, and I'll tell you why in a second. We have got plant-based fish burgers here, chicken patties. Let's go to something that's really popular. Here, people love this brand, Gardein. Gardein is very popular. You can find it at many, many grocery stores. These are crispy chicken tenders. Look lovely in the photo. But what is it made of here? Enriched wheat flour is the main, main ingredient, but here's the problem, boom. Soy protein isolate and canola oil, followed by a ton of other unsavory ingredients. But soy, once again, is it non-GMO? Yes, at least it's non-GMO, but you'll oftentimes find all of these imitation products here made of soy. And here's the funny thing. A lot of people eat plant-based because they think it's better for the environment. Soy is a monocrop. Soy and corn are the biggest monocrops in this country that we grow. The problem is monocrops like that are really, really bad for the soil and the biodiversity of the soil. So if you're doing that and using a lot of soy, it's actually bad for the environment and it's bad for you because soy is usually GMO. When it's not, it's still high in omega-6s, which is very inflammatory and you don't want it in your body. So soy is actually bad for you and bad for the environment. So it's a lose-lose. If you want something like that, okay, veggie burgers are where you want. You shouldn't be taking plants and trying to make them into fish burgers and chicken cutlets because that's just perverting it. Have a veggie burger. The problem is a lot of veggie burgers, at least this is real veggies, they still have cruddy oil. Like what does this one have here? There, Expeller pressed canola oil, and that's a doctor, which is surprising to me. Something like this is a perfect veggie burger. No bowl, boom. All veggies, no processed oil. If you want a burger, that's what you want. You want it made of plants. You don't want it made of soy and canola oil and unsavory ingredients, probably the best veggie burger I've ever had in my life was in Los Angeles, of course, at a place in Venice Beach called Cafe Gratitude. Oh my goodness, their veggie cheeseburger is to die for. And actually, I'll be in LA next month, March, for the Expo West Healthy Food Convention in Anaheim. So if you're at the show, come by and say hi. And I think I might have to stop at Cafe Gratitude and get a veggie burger, not one of these soy burgers. Danger, Will Robinson, danger. In here are some really twisted Franken foods that are called plant-based. And let me just be clear, I have no problem with organic tofu, if you wanna turn that into a stir fry, or jackfruit, or seitan, things like that you can turn into real dishes. My main issue 
is with these foods right here. When you start to turn it into chicken breast, burgers, sausages, things like that, because let's just be honest, this is a plant-based chicken breast. If I slide this over a little bit, there we go. Look at that. Does that look appetizing to you? I know it's plant-based, but that just looks like something's wrong with it. And people might read plant-based chicken breast, no artificial flavors, non-GMO, and think it's good to go. But when you look at the ingredients here, you see, if I can see it, you know, I gotta wear my glasses one of these days, it's chickpea flour is the main ingredient. So flour is the main ingredient. Coconut oil is okay, but we also have canola oil. And then look what it says here. Methyl cellulose, sodium alginate, carob bean gum, xanthan gum, and the natural flavor. My friends, this is not a plant-based chicken patty. This is basically a plant-based oily, starchy patty. When you have ingredients like sodium alginate, carabine gum, methyl cellulose, these are just binders binding together the processed inflammatory canola oil with chickpea flour. This is not how you do plant-based. I can argue there's no real plants in here at all. And then people love their Beyond Burgers. First of all, it's $7 for eight ounces. So that means it's essentially $14 a pound for plant-based. But once again, there's no nutrient-dense plants in here. Look at this laundry list of ingredients, which I can't even read here. Pea protein is the only real plant in there. Afterwards, it's expeller pressed, cruddy processed canola oil, followed by natural flavors, methyl cellulose as plant-based fibers holding it together. Then they try to fortify with all these vitamins here. This is not how you do plant-based. Once again, there are no plants in here. It's pea protein with such processed ingredients that have no nutrition and inflammatory oils. Why would you put that in your body? That's not how you do plant-based, I'm sorry. I did a recent video about the best plant-based milks on the market, and that was an update to a video I did two years ago. I'll put a link to that video right here. One of my favorite is something they don't have in the grocery stores, they have it online or at Thrive Market. It's called Kiki Milk. It's probably the cleanest, most nutrient-dense, Bobby-approved plant-based milk on the market. They have original and chocolate, and it's on Thrive Market now. And what's cool, they have the 32-ounce size that's new, and you can buy one of them. You don't have to commit to a whole six-pack like you do if you buy it on their website. It is unbelievable. I make lattes out of it, and then Rose uses it for her cereal and drinking it. It's phenomenal. And then if I want a snack, this is a plant-based cereal that we love, Seven Sundays. It's cheaper on Thrive Market also. Remember, Thrive Market has all the stuff you would normally find at a grocery store, but it's cheaper. My link down below gets you 30% off your first order and the free gift. And I'll put a list of all my favorite Thrive Market items on there, many of which are plant-based, and you can grab them. But try that Kiki Milk with that cereal on the couch while watching Your Honor with Brian Cranston, which is pretty decent. Butter is a tricky one because some people eat plant-based butter because they don't do dairy. But the problem is every single brand of dairy-free butter has something wrong with it. And the marketing should be criminal. So something like this, Earth Balance has a very wholesome name and it says soy-free. Well, that's good. But when we see what this is actually made of, canola, safflower, and then there's palm oil too. Three horrible inflammatory oils that yes are non-GMO, but they're about as cheapo as they get. And then if you pick up something like this, it says organic here, non-GMO. But once again, what are the oils made of here? A vegetable oil blend of palm, soybean, canola, a touch of good extra virgin olive oil. Then there's the natural flavor to give it the real flavor. So why are they doing this? Because they can't use dairy, but they're choosing to use processed, cheap, inflammatory oils. These oils are cheap, so higher profits for them, worse for us, but these oils are processed to death. They're inflammatory, they're loaded with something called free radicals, which we talked about in yesterday's uh, seed oil video. You don't want to put that in your body. Unfortunately, the bad news is, no matter what brand you pick up, even premium ones like this, they all have at least one cruddy oil. This one, I can't really read it, has... Boom, sunflower oil. So in this case, I can't give you a Bobby approved alternative because nothing's out there. This is better for you because it's just one oil. Kite Hill is just one oil that's bad, uh, that's bad for you in there. 
this is an amalgamation of a bunch. So plant-based butter is tough, but it's also tough on your body because those oils are bad. Because I'm right here and I want to end this segment on a positive note, these guys, Kaitel, make an amazing plant-based uh, cream cheese that's on sale right now. The family pack is probably the best deal. And this is plant-based done right. This is almond-based and there's no filler ingredients in there. Basically, it's the same ingredient profile as regular cream cheese. They're just using almonds and even regular cream cheese has a couple gums in there like this. There's no natural flavors. There's no processed oils. Of course, they're sold out of my favorite flavor, the garden veggie, but this stuff literally is fantastic. That one has sugar and natural flavors, but this stuff is Bobby approved. I know I mentioned I had a plant-based milk review video that I did recently that was updated, but this one is relatively new to the market and I think it's getting popular. And most plant-based milks are made with almonds or oats or something like that. But this one really, befuddles me. There's no nuts or grains in here. Look at the ingredient list. It's water followed by a vegetable oil blend of sunflower, safflower, and canola. Excuse me. Got to move out of the way. So it's basically oily water with then gums, oils, emulsifiers, and how much sugar? And two grams of sugar. I know it's not milk, but the question is, what is this? Or as Sebastian Maniscalco would say, why would you do that? All right, my friends, that is it. My rant is over, but let me be clear. I have no problem with veganism or plant-based when it's done right. Eating whole fruits and vegetables and things in their whole form. When you start to take plants and convert them into something that is a franken food and then it doesn't have any plants it's all fake ingredients and oils that is not good plant-based that is not good for you and it's not good for the environment so uh that is it from the grocery store do also check out thrivemarket.com we love them my promo link down below gets you 30 percent off your first order and the free gift and i put a list once again of all of my favorite thrive market items in the description box but from the grocery store my second home i leave you like i always do hashtag keep on cooking mad love and peace later